Yo, hey guys, it's Smallmouth Crush. Today's episode is all about fishing. Secret little pond, couple ponds actually. Uh, Piero Plantation down here in Alabama. We're gonna show you some, uh, some fish catches. Eric and I explored the pond. We got Jimmy Houston behind us here. He was doing a little fishing today. It's an awesome place to uh, catch some fish. A lot of different things going on here. A lot of different structure, a lot of habitat, a lot of big fish. Florida strain bass as well are in here. Uh, brim, crappies, we caught some big crappies today. So uh, it's loaded up with some pretty big fish, that's for sure. So I've been planning this trip for weeks. I was supposed to go with the boys from Beast Coast Fishing. They came down here last year and had a blast just catching fish after fish. And so I had to make a backup call. Epic Eric, of course he's going to drive 14 hours from Maryland to come down here with me. Livingston, Alabama. P. Arrow Plantation. You guys want to take a look at their website. I'll have the links in my description. It did not take us long to put the first fish in the boat, that's for sure. Now, I already made a video of our frog day, but I wanted to put a few clips together uh, just to give you an idea of how many fish we actually caught on a frog. But there was a variety of baits that we used, uh, but that video is already up on my YouTube channel. That'll be in the description as well for you. He's my first bass in Alabama today. Mm. I'm good, man. Okay. <laughs> Take two. Get the rods in the boat. The sun's already coming up. We're running a little behind. I mean, what are we going to do today? Nobody knows, but hopefully we catch some fish down here in Alabama. What up? Are you ready to catch some fish? Man, I don't know, man. I'm a little rusty. First time fishing this year. And it's almost April. What's going Jeez. on? But I got my tackle organized. That's the good news. The bad news is there's none. There's Let's none. go. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> that looked like a 10 pounder log. I'm saving that. What you got on, man? Well, we're doing a little sight fishing because some of these big fish moved up. And I threw a little drop shot on this guy. And uh, we got him. Nice. Not as big as we thought. But. but. But a good one, it nonetheless. Was it was fun. There we go. I thought he was bigger. Yeah, me too. He looked bigger in the water. You got it, Travis. He just Ready. got the end. He had the end. He spit it. All right. Eric, what do you got? A little guy on the bed? Yeah. A little guy? Oh, he's decent. 
So what are you throwing at him? I'm throwing a speed crawl, and I'm trying to make this fish angry. I'm going to bump him in the head and see if he spins around. I think bait. he's ready to go. See, I, I hit him once. He's staying. He didn't leave, or she didn't leave. And if they don't leave... So your casts are a little off. You got you want to be a, behind that bed. Dude, really? Yeah. I know, it's been, I I know you've been in the garage a long time. Yeah, that's true. All right, right there. Don't move it. And there he is. No, he didn't have it. Did you see that? He swam over top of it. I didn't premature hook set. I rub him. Wow. I'm going to rub him again. Different tactic. I would just toss in his bed and leave it there. Nope. And then move it. See? Now I got him angry. When he really starts to get fired up, I'll leave it. And he may just wheel around and eat it. Tailing down, got the attitude. Yeah, he's got the tail. Oh, got him. Hey, not bad, dude. Thank you. That's a little lesson in bed fishing. A little different technique than Travis with the drop shot. I did give him the big fish. He is the host of the show. But you wanted to make him mad. I wanted to. I wanted to show you a different way to catch a fish on a bed. Gotcha. You know, it's it's a cool technique, and I'll, I'll explain it here in a second. So if a fish is locked on, you can toss your bait over there. I like a speed crawl in white because why? You can I can see the fish eat the bait, and the fish had the bait the first time, like here. Mm -hmm. He ate it. I didn't set the hook because I knew he didn't suck it all the way in. Sometimes if a fish has the claws and is swimming with it, you can just do a little pop with your rod, and they'll suck it all the way in. But what I do is I get this bait right behind the bass, preferably the head. I bang him two or three times. And if the fish wheels around and stays, you know that they're going to fire the next time. So it took about three hits. You can hit him on the tail too and uh, fired him up to, to eat. So there you go, man. Bed fishing 101. Advanced tactic. Looking. Come on. Oh, there you go. No, she didn't have it, dude. Oh, don't tell me what she. Sorry. So, hey, 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 hey. I'm hey. not listening to you anymore. Sorry. She didn't can have it. Oh. Damn it! Don't tell me that. Didn't you think too? No, that? I didn't. Okay. He was close to it. I thought he bumped it. Like, like I thought he just went, sucked it in. No, I, no, she was over top of it. Okay. That's what I sorry, saw. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm like, sorry. damn. Okay. Well, all sorry. Right. You said it with such conviction. Sorry. Uh oh! Right on top of her. That might get her pissed. She's got it. She's gonna eat it. Look at her tail down. She's fanning. Yep, yep. yep. She's fanning. She's moving away. Looking, backing off, coming over to the side. Come on, girl. Come up. Oh, tail down. Yep. No, 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 no. Yeah, she had it. Yes. <laughs> Wow. Oh! Oh, going for the bow bowl. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that's. Wow, that was fun. Okay, baby. Took a while, though, didn't it? It did. Oh! That's how it's done in the spawn. Nice. That was nice, huh? Yeah. Let's back off. She's beautiful, clean. But is that the male? Look. Yeah. That's a male. Yeah. Where is her mate? <laughs> Travis, if that's the male. Speed cross strikes again. White. Nice. All right, let's get this view. So I know Eric is a huge believer in glide baits. And so I let him have the front of the boat to show me what I've been missing out all my life. And after this, I'm a firm believer. Unreal. All right. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll keep you posted. All right, man. All right, see. Whoa. Oh, it's a big one. Big Eric's got a big one on the glide bait. 
camera. Eric's got a big one on a glide bait. What? Oh my god. It's a big one. <laughs> wow. I'm on the phone with Ryan. Ah, look at that, buddy. That's how it's done. I told you I could do it. It didn't take long. Holy crap, dude. Big baits catch big bass. We told you we would do it on Smallmouth Crush, and we did it. We did it. I've been waiting an entire two years fishing with Travis to show you boys what they can do. <laughs> Finally. Dude, I saw the bite, too. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That was a good one on a giant swim bait. Giant swim bait, man. Big, big baits catch big bass sometimes. Mm. It's not always, sometimes you can come out and blank, but I mean, look at the size of that bait. Yeah. Dude, and look at the head on that fish, man. I had, a, I had multiple follows. I had a couple fish nip at it, Uh huh. but I made a long cast, steady glide. I saw him fall, it twitched it a couple times, and she Boom. ate it. Very cool. Boom. Very cool, man. seen Eric catch that fish on the glide I had to pick one up too and my first bite I thought it was a 10 pounder it wasn't but it was still freaking awesome I thought he was big. what you got man you had a big one on the glide I did catch one on the glide you caught one on the glide I, I, thought, I thought he was huge, but that's cool. But he ain't. Hold on, is it recording? Yeah, it's red. That's cool. That's cool. Congratulate. Welcome to the glide bait club. Yeah, I'm in. He's in, folks. On the worm. It's a good one. Good one. What you got? The big one. Is he stuck? Nope. Nope. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, dude, that's a pig. That's a pig. Nice, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh I didn't think he was that big. Neither did I. Good, good work not giving up. Oh. Come on, big mama, spinning rod. She in the Man, nice. They grab that fish. They grab that fish. Look 
gotta grab that fish. Dang, dude. Dude. That's a good one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I didn't give up. I, you know, I just I threw that trick worm back, not on the bed, just let it dead stick. Yep. And she picked it up. Nice. Dead stick in that trick worm. Nice. Wow. That's a solid fish. Wow. That's what you come to Alabama for? Dude. I'll step in the fire ants. The who? The fire ant thing right there. Oh, that dude. wouldn't be good? Yeah. No, Thanks for dude. the save, dude. Let me tell you, man. Thanks for the save. You'd be hurting. Have you ever gotten bit by them? I have stepped in a fire ant pile one How time. How bad is it? It's no good, man. They're dude, small, they're but they're potent. That's a fire ant. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's a southern thing. I've never stepped in fire yeah, ants you, before. You, you would feel it in about two minutes. If you stepped <laughs> on that thing, they would make it all the way up that body of yours and tear you up. I got gotcha. you. Fire ants! I'm running for the <laughs> Yeah. How many do we have follow it? You don't have a clue. No, How you many don't. do we have follow it? You don't have a clue. Uh, well, that shows you uh, now. What do you think? Good day? A, a, amazing day, man. Yes. And capping it off by talking to Jimmy. Jimmy Houston. And Jimmy, what do, you, what do you think of Piero Plantation? Do you have a good time today? Oh, it's a cool spot right here. Yeah. It's a cool it is. place. Yeah, this is a great, great place. They got a lot of water all over this part of the area, country down here. Mm -hmm. And when you get in these little mountains, it's really easy to make lux, and they got they got a lot of really good ones. There's no yeah. doubt about it. This, yeah. is a, this is a great place. Well, what was the bait of choice today for you? Uh, well, I caught most of them on a pal stick, Lucky Strike pal stick, okay. seeking worm. Today, that's what we caught them on. Yeah. We've been catching them on spinner baits real good, and and the biggest one I caught all week caught on spinner bait. Sure. Jimmy Houston Legend spinner bait. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly ever throw one of those, but just thought I'd tie one on just for the heck of it. Throw right. it out there. Ten different. pounder got a hold of it. There you what go. What I do? I just wind him in. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of fun. That's hey, I got on your YouTube oh, channel today. And so and I that. well no I didn't subscribe I didn't watch any of the video oh thought, okay I thought you just wanted this up man <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't had a chance to watch any of the videos we've been fishing but I did subscribe to your YouTube channel all every day so. there you go and, and you got uh, a YouTube we'll channel give, as well yeah we'll give you yes we do Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube we'll give you a shout out on there and perfect and uh, get some of our folks to go over and subscribe on yours there some you of your go. folks come and hit that sub button on ours. We're going to post over 500 videos this year on YouTube. That's wow, a lot that's of videos. That's crazy. That's a lot. We, we, we post 11, 11 videos a week. Travis, he just said 500 videos. I know. I got to step on my game. You've got to get busy. Well, well no, but, but we do. Jimmy can, you can. Yeah, that's right. That's good. But we do, we do though, Travis, we do a, a daily devotional every day we, at 5 o'clock every morning, a catch of the day from a book that we wrote a few years back. And, sure. And, and, and so we're getting ready to do, right now, we're getting ready to do March 27. No, March 25. And uh, uh, we got March 25, March 27, we'll have March done, and we'll start on, uh, I got to do one pretty soon on the day that's named after me, April Fool's Day. <laughs> and uh, so that's going to be a good one to do. But uh, but we do those, so that's that's 365 of them. Sure. That's and we post our, okay. our we, on Mondays, every Mondays we post our, uh, one of the our 2020 television shows uh, from Jimmy Houston Outdoors. So uh, we really only put up. A new video Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, so it's you're not off the really. Hook, Travis. Yeah, it's not really. Right, still we do a Sunday afternoon chat. We do a video on Wednesday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Post a, one of our television shows on Monday, and every over 500 videos. Hey. So I wonder sure. why sure. he got 40,000 pretty quick. We yeah. don't have 40. Yeah. We got 38,600. 38, <laughs> 38, but who's counting? That's yeah, right. That's, that's right. right. But uh, but anyway, awesome. but I got another friend of mine that's got a YouTube channel. He's got six million. So there's right. hope for all of us. There is. There's six hope for you and me. <laughs> Get on that Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube channel. Million. You'll love it. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Good I'm sub to awesome, yours awesome. too. So. Hey, we're all good. All right. We got to do this. We got to do some work. Do it. All right. There you go. Awesome. Awesome time here at Piero Plantation. We caught some fish. You caught. Some studs, man. You had. A, I guess I had a pretty good day. You too. had an amazing frog yeah, day yesterday. Yeah, you yeah. burned them That's up true. yesterday. That's and I true. caught a couple of janes today. Right, right. Glide bait. That glide bait and trick worm. Crazy. What? Oh man. That's Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought of these epic fish catches this uh, last couple of days. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Jimmy Houston just subscribed. You should too. To Jimmy Houston's out, great outdoor. And as always, until next time, we'll see you, see you guys on, on the, the water. water.